I'm Michelle, and I help young job seekers prepare and nail their interview, even if they feel unsuccessful, so they can up-level their job and stop living paycheck to paycheck. All right. All right, so today we are going to talk about one of our most fun questions out there. What is your greatest weakness? What is your biggest opportunity? So first and foremost, we're going to talk about what not to say. So that's where we're going to be in today. And then we're going to get into why do they even ask me this question? And of course, stay till the end because you're going to get great examples of what to say and how to format your answers. If you're sitting there wondering, okay, well, that's all great and everything, but I need to get to the interview point. So how do I make a resume? Well, I have a video for you that's going to show you a quick, fast and effective way to get your resume out there so that you can get a call back and get an interview. All right, so let's get started with how you answer what is your greatest weakness or your biggest opportunity, whatever they seem to say. It's all the same. All right, so first we're going to talk about what not to say. Don't say things like, well, I tend to call in sick every Friday or I have a really hard time being on time or I have really undependable child care. Things like this are not helpful at all and you will get put in the no pile real quick. Another thing you don't want to say, I don't have any weaknesses because you know what? Everybody has a weakness. So don't go there and don't give the standard, oh, I'm a perfectionist or I'm just way too detail oriented. Sometimes my type A personality gets in the way. That's just your standard Ugh. answer. It's not going to get you anywhere. All right. So how should you answer this question? Well, first of all, I want to talk to you about a three part structure to your answer that you should have. That's really going to help drive that answer and make it have some substance and not just your standard blah kind of an answer. So you're going to start with what the problem is, what the weakness is. And the second part is how you're already working to get that improved or resolved. And then the third part is, how things have already improved and getting better and that kind of a thing. So that's the structure you're going to use. Now let's get into some examples. So for the first example, sometimes I get really involved in my work and I get too focused and I forget that there's like a world around me and I forget to check in with my team members, especially in this virtual world where, you know, it's really easy to just get tunnel vision on what you're doing. So I noticed it was starting to affect the relationships that I had with my team. I just didn't feel quite as close as I would have liked to. So I went ahead and started making sure that I check in a couple of times a day, just say hi, see how they're doing, if they need anything from me, or just check in and see how their life is going and where they're at with everything. And it's really helped improve the culture of reaching out to me more often, which I really appreciate. So it's really improved not only that, but just how I feel at work. I'm happier to be there because I have better relationships with my team. So that was the first example, but I'm going to give you another one. So you have a couple different options to choose from. Of course, you're going to develop your own answer, but this is going to give you kind of some ideas on where you can pull these weaknesses from. So the next example is what I've actually used before because it is a weakness of mine is that sometimes my email gets a little bit overwhelming, a little bit out of control. I have been known to have hundreds of emails stacked up in my inbox and it gets just such a huge mental load. So what I did was I started working on that where I schedule out some time every Friday afternoon, about 30 minutes to go through my inbox and just make sure that week's email is taken care of. I delete what needs deleted. I put in folders what needs to be put in folders. And then that helps me just kind of stay on top of it without feeling like I have to do something like that every single day, which I feel like just kind of gets in the way of my work and that's why it gets out of control. So having that structure in place has improved my productivity. It's taken off that mental load and it really just made me a lot more successful in my role. So when you answer questions in this manner, it really shows that you're self-aware, that you know what weaknesses you have, what you need to improve on. It also shows that you're willing to take feedback and advice and look into improving things when there is something you're struggling with. And it also shows that you have a really strong growth mindset, that you're not just like, well, I'm the girl that just has a bad email box. That's just who I am. It's what I do. 
and <laughs> that's not something you want. So it really helps show them that you are willing to grow and change and improve and you're willing to get better. So it's a really strong answer in that manner and that's what you're gonna want because this is an elimination question. So they are looking to eliminate people based on this question. It's probably one of the trickier questions you're gonna get in the interview because they're asking you like, what are you bad at? <laughs> so how you answer is super important. Keep that structure of the three-step formula where you tell them what the weakness is, then you explain how you're already trying to improve it, and then you show how it's already improved things for you, what you have already put in place. So that is a great way to answer that question. And here's the thing, everybody has a weakness. Nobody out there doesn't have a weakness. So people that say, oh, I don't have a weakness. Hopefully not many people are doing that anymore. I think that it's pretty common knowledge that is not what people are looking for, but you need to understand that it's okay to have any, a weakness. We're just not gonna tell them things like, mm, yeah, sometimes on Monday mornings, you know, I really have a hard time getting out of bed. It's been a long weekend. Or, you know, I have a real bad temper and if somebody irritates me, I have a hard time controlling myself. Things like that are not what we're going to be telling them. We're going to talk to them about things that we have well within our control and that we're already improving. You don't want to answer in a manner that's going to get you rejected immediately. Boom, interview's over, nothing else matters. You're going to want to make sure that they're like, okay, well this is a person that we can move forward. If this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and even hit that notifications button because my next video is going to be all about the strengths question. So what are your biggest strengths? I'll show you how exactly you should answer that question, how to structure that answer, and what kind of things that you should be telling them. But until then, happy job hunting. We'll see you soon.